on in.
God, we surrender to you. Thank you for grace and mercy. You are a wonderful, faithful God. And we love you. We love you, Lord.
light that moves, a light that moves, a hand that heals, a hand that heals, a voice that speaks, a voice that speaks, a hope that's real, a light that moves, a light that moves, a hand that heals, a hand that heals, a voice that speaks, a voice that speaks, a hope that's real, a hope that's real. I pray we'll know the love of God, the love that never leaves us, the height, the depth, the wind, the breath, the faithful love of Jesus, the faithful love of Jesus, the faithful love of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are faithful. We love you very much. Amen. You may be seated, church. morning. There we go. All right. It's a great truth in that song. I don't think I can, I couldn't even read it to you. So if you <laughs> read those first couple lines and really let those soak over you. Um, amen. We have some special things going on that we want to uh, announce this morning. Some different ones are going to come up and and talk besides me. Um, the mission support group is meeting back again. Uh, that's and so the first time back will be October 26 at 7 p.m. It's going to be a, a prayer meeting down at the. Uh, I'm just calling it the corner space. If I call it the corner space, does everybody know? On the corner of South Market and West Beverly, across from the by and by, there's a little corner space that's ours. So the mission support group will meet there uh, October 26 at 7 p.m. for prayer. Is there anything else I need to say about that, John Hagen? Okay. Um, also, in terms of um, prayer, um, some of you remember this is not the first time this has happened, but there's an event called The Gathering uh, with Ruth Graham through um, A&M. It's going to be over at Cornerstone. It's um, a time focused on the prayer for the, uh, for the persecuted church. And so Sunday, November 1st at 3 p.m. at Cornerstone is going to be that event. And I think, I'm assuming you can go to their website and get more details. Those are the details that I have. But if you're interested, put November 1st from 1 to 3 at Cornerstone on your uh, calendars. Uh, and join Ruth Graham for prayer for the persecuted church. All right, uh, York Grow, why don't you come on up and make your announcement? Good morning. Um, we're going to go camping. Men, uh, men of all ages, whether you're small or tall or big or short or whatever, let's go camping. Um, so November 13th, 14th, and 15th, we're going to go camping actually out at Camp Shenandoah. If you're not familiar with that, that's the local Boy Scout camp and they rent out to other organizations during their off season. Um, several reasons we chose that. A, there's not much available otherwise for camping that can be an organized spot. Um, one attractive thing is for those of you who would like to go but just aren't up for tent camping, there are some cabins available. 
Now, we're not talking fancy, luxurious cabins. We're talking it's an enclosure, and there's some bunks, and there's a mattress, and a ceiling fan, and some electricity. So that means we can plug in a little heater if you need to. Um, but other than that, it's uh, pretty rustic. But it does give you an option other than tents. Um, the idea is just to go and fellowship, um, to eat some food around a campfire. We'll make sure everybody doesn't go hungry. Um, but we'd love for you all to come and join us, men and boys, fathers, sons. Um, we would like to get folks to sign up. I'll have, a piece, I'll have this with me today, and then I'll quickly hand it off to Lisa Conan. She'll have it. Or there was an announcement, you can send me an email as well. We'd like to get a head count, especially if you need cabins. Um, so there are 10 cabins available, which normally sleep eight each. But with COVID restrictions, we'll only sleep either two to three people, unless there's a family group who can, can be more than that in each of the cabins. Um, but we'll have, plan to have a great time. There'll be, there's some open fields we can throw Frisbee, but there's also a kitchen area where we can have some prayer time and meetings and things, especially if the weather's not so great. There's an inside area where we can meet as well. Uh, but men, certainly encourage you to sign up. Uh, we'd love to have everybody out there for that weekend. Thank you. All right, November 13th through the 15th for the, for the fellas. All right, Joanne Kinder, why don't you come on up and talk about uh, Operation Christmas Child coming up. Well, we are not going camping. Ladies, um, we're going to stay put, but for uh, many of you, you like to shop, so shopping, uh, men too. But we're excited this year. Um, well, I wasn't sure whether it was going to happen or not, but Samaritan's, we're going to join forces with Samaritan's Purse once again for Operation Christmas Child, shoe boxes. Many of you have done it. It started in 1993, so some of you adults uh, did this as well. So anyway, um, uh, I didn't realize until I got into this a little bit more that um, children only receive one of these during their lifetime, unless they move villages. You know, you think that maybe they get it every year. They only get one of these. So as we pack these, um, let's make them very special. They're not only getting gifts, um, but they're hearing about the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. So there are six ways that you can get involved. There's probably more. You can pick any, all, hopefully all, um, of the, the things listed. I'm not going to go through each one of them in detail, but they are on the back of the worship songs. Um, you can fill a shoebox, one or more as a family. There is uh, information on the website, Operation Christmas Child, as far as what can be put and what can't be put in the boxes. You can purchase items, um, and we've got a list of things that we need. I've been kind of shopping all year long. I encourage you to find the sales um, out there throughout the year, collect them, and then we'll have a packing party on November 7th. We're going to pool all of our resources, all of our items, and try to make as many boxes as possible. So that is on November 7th. So you can either purchase items, give them to me, um, and if, if you don't have items but just want to come and help pack, that's on November 7th from 1 to 3 at the church building. Um, <clears throat> you can build a box online, so you don't like to shop, but you like to shop online, or you, you can go to a website there, uh, on, and we've got that information in the midweek uh, reminders. Click on that, and you can build a box online, and I would encourage you to do that. Send that link to other people outside of the church, in the community. We're trying to get as many boxes as possible. That costs $25, that includes the shipping, but you can choose which items you want in the box. And they tend to go to the hard to reach countries. So um, then uh, you can contribute to the mailing. Each box costs $9 to mail. So we are gonna try to collect some money to be able to, to pay for those who 
you know, you put a lot of money in the box and it's hard to put another $9 in there. So we're going to contribute to that. And most importantly, pray. I mean, these boxes go all over the world. And in this time that we're in, it's, it's a little bit harder. But Samaritan's Purse has done a, an amazing job in working all the details out and even allowing people to come down to the different packing places in order to pack um, for this year. So please get involved. We need your help. Um, any or all of these ways that you can do that. So thank you very, very much. I was thinking when I was looking through <clears throat> those announcements just how important all of them are. And uh, Clay, I so appreciated your message last week and, and that reminder to keep perspective of our times. And it's like, look at what's going on in the church. Um, this is all good stuff. This is really good news. Let's, um, let's join together now and let's pray over, over these various things. I mean, whether it's the men's camping trip, which I think powerful things happen when our, the guys of our church get together and just be together, but um, uh, Operation Christmas Child and um, the, the mission support group and the prayer for the persecuted church. These are good things, and the Lord's doing some good things in our world. Let's lift these up to him in prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you uh, for being on the move. Thank you for calling us to, to join you in the, in the good things that you're about in your world uh, and in our lives and in the lives of those around us. We lift each of these things up uh, to you. May your will be done in each of those as it is in heaven, and we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Before uh, John comes up to share, our, our last announcement, we're going to do um, Sunday School with Larry today for the youth, and that's 6th through 11th grade, Larry. Um, so if you want to lead your crew, you guys are going to meet uh, kind of upstairs in this hallway there. We've distanced some chairs. We think we've got enough for the group that's going to be up there. But you're going to go through those double doors up the steps and, uh, and meet in the hallway. So 6th um, through 11th grade, if you're interested, uh, Larry and Josh. We're going to have Sunday school for you all today, and John Morrison, you may come on up.